My name is Rebecca Leslie Hurd, and I'm the director of the compiler team here at Cerebris. Uh, my name is Basili Klutskiewicz, and I work in the compiler team uh, on automatic code generation. So my, my career has been about uh, working at the intersection between hardware and software and uh, you know compilers are one of the kinds of components that, that's right in that intersection. So I, I did my PhD in programming language research and then I worked at Intel for a number of years as a hardware architect and, and developing techniques for reasoning about hardware and then shifted gears into the AI accelerator space and was working at another uh, startup on their compiler and found my way, way here because I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, so I first studied mathematics in Poland, then I came to the United States and I did my PhD in uh, computational mathematical engineering uh, and during my PhD I did some internships uh, where I worked on software and uh, you know closely closely with hardware so uh, I ended up here after after my PhD. Compiler is a bridge between human beings and computers and, and the job that the compiler is doing is taking an, an abstract representation of a computation uh, that's that's understandable by, by that human being and it's it's translating into something that can be executed by a machine in the most efficient way possible and if we're doing our jobs well then we really raise the level of abstraction that's available to the human programmer while maintaining that really efficient mapping to the low-level hardware. One of the things that's interesting about being a compiler engineer is that the fundamentally the code you're writing is in the, the the pathway of every program that anyone will ever write. So there's a lot more focus on correctness if you're writing an application and you, you make a mistake, you have a bug, that just affects your application. If you're writing a compiler, you make a mistake, you, you have a bug, that affects every program that anyone ever writes potentially. And so there's a different mindset in compiler development to be really focused on uh, being precise, being thoughtful and, and, and getting to that correct result, while also trying to maximize what you're doing out of the hardware, really get performance. If you're writing an application, kind of assuming that the compiler is going to solve parts of the performance problem for you, whereas when you're writing the compiler, you have to be the one to solve that problem. So there's some, some neat, unique coding challenges as, as you write a compiler versus other kinds of application. So when we think about compiling for the wafer scale architecture, uh, that there's two problems that we really need to think through. You know, one is for each of the individual processing elements on the wafer, how do we generate the most efficient code possible? And the other aspect of the problem is, is how do we distribute the computation being performed across the million cores that exist on the wafer? There's a few different jobs that a compiler engineer will do here at Cerebris. So one kind of role that people have is designing optimizations, trying to figure out how you can transform uh, the code from the original program into something that executes with maximum efficiency on, on the processing elements. Another kind of job that people do is, is figuring out how do you automatically generate uh, programs uh, to, to solve some task. Um, and then there's also an aspect of the work in our team where we're designing new programming languages and new abstractions. Uh, you know, given that the the wafer scale architecture has never existed before, uh, there's no you know, there's there's no language that maps to it most eff effectively. And so we're really thinking about how can we give access uh, to the power of the architecture to users, uh, and 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 how do we do that through the design of a novel programming language? I rarely work on tasks that could be completed in a single day. So typically, when I implement a new feature or extend the code base, it takes me a couple of weeks or a couple of months. So, you know, and, and each day is a small step. Um, so the way it may look is, first I, I may try to uh, read a lot of code that other engineers have written and understand what, what it is doing. Uh, then think about, you know, what my extension should do then I sometimes uh, hack the code to do what, what, what I wanted to do. And then uh, once, once it does what I wanted to do, I work uh, towards a, a prototype. And then that involves a lot of discussions with, the, you know, with my colleagues, with team members. You know, is that a good idea? Is it not a good idea? Uh, maybe, maybe it should look completely dif differently. Uh, so once I have a prototype uh, and I test it, 
you know, to make sure that it does what I want. Uh, you know, only then do I start on like the actual implementation of the feature, and then again, uh, it goes through it goes through reviews. Uh, so that, you know, at the end of the day I get something that, you know, I'm sure will work, uh, well, for years. <laughs> I really enjoy working in the hardware space because I believe that with new hardware architectures you enable people to solve new problems. You can compute things that weren't previously computable and that unlocks new directions for research and technology. But hardware is just a pile of silicon if there isn't software to drive it. And compilers are the central piece of putting the hardware into users. So anything that an ML researcher does or that a scientist, any problem that they want to solve, uh, the compiler is what bridges the gap between them and the hardware and makes those problems solvable. Fundamentally what I like about working at Cerebris, it comes down to two things, the technology and the people. And we're working on really innovative, cutting edge technology that's enabling you know, new problems to be solved in the world, and I find that exciting and rewarding. Uh, but I also really enjoy the people that I'm working with, making it happen. Everyone here is extremely collaborative, extremely technically sharp, and that combination of having great technological ideas and a great group of people working together to, to make them a reality, I, I find to be the best thing about working here. Um, I interned at big organizations. Uh, I worked at s smaller companies. But for me, what's important is to work on something interesting with cool people. One of the things I really enjoy about working at Cerebris is that there's a lot of open problems to be solved and that this, this architecture hasn't existed, the scale of processor hasn't existed, uh, so there's a lot of unknowns in, in how do you compile for it efficiently, what kinds of abstractions should you make available to users so that they can leverage that power, uh, but we're also doing something very practical and that we're delivering this to users and so we're solving interesting open problems uh, but delivering a very practical impact to the world. Yeah.